Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking another look at the Compact Presario 6016 US, also known as the Slow Computer. Well, that's because it's running Windows 7 right now. And before I start, I want to say that I actually installed a graphics card in here. Uh, when I boot it up, I'll show you which one because I genuinely forgot which one it was. And uh, as you can see, or maybe not, a few of the capacitors are actually bulging on it, and it's a little faulty, but it seems to be working now. So, in this video, I'm going to be attempting to install a few different Linux distros, seeing which ones work, which ones don't. And I'm going to be doing this all off of DVDs, because this doesn't support booting from USB, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But first, I want to show you something with Windows 7 before we continue. So let's fire it up again. And uh, I know a few of you guys said that I could clean the audio jack with some contact cleaner. Uh, but I think this really is faulty because they make a weird pop sound. And uh, I don't know. I just don't think that this is working right. But I still might give it a try. So, anyways, we are now in Windows 7 once again. Okay then. Well, let's try something crazy like, I don't know, launching Solitaire. And it works. Which shouldn't be surprising, but I installed that graphics card and, uh, Oh, well, now it can play graphics. <laughs> it can play videos. It can actually play games. It can almost play Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm not even going to mess with that anymore because it's not fun. It just keeps freezing and it eventually crashed. Anyways, let me show you what that graphics card is. It's the NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200. It came in my Dell Dimension 4600, which... I might make a video about soon. It's a lot better than this computer and it's not that much newer. Uh, but the reason it's not in there is because of those faulty capacitors. I am I would look into replacing them, but it's probably just easier to just get a whole different graphics card. So let's shut this off and try out some Linux distros. So the first thing we're gonna try is Zorn OS. This is the 15th version and it's the light version and it's right here on this dvd rewritable i don't have high hopes for this one but let's just see try or install zorn os Safe graphics, check insulation media. Well, let's just go ahead and try or install Zorn OS. Okay, so it's actually booted. That took around like 10 minutes. And now we are greeted with failed to apply network settings. You might not be able to connect to the Bluetooth network via this machine. Okay then. Now I see it doesn't see my Wi-Fi network, and I do have that USB Wi-Fi adapter I have plugged in. It just isn't showing up. Now it does say it supports Linux, but knowing how much I know about Linux probably explains why it won't work. I could probably um, get my laptop and bridge the Wi-Fi to Ethernet, which I might do. So I don't think I'm gonna open up Firefox, at least not before it's installed because I have a feeling it's not going to run on this due to the limitations of the processor missing SSL2. But let's just go a little bit around the operating system before I decide to install it. I thought we'd have to go through a couple different Linux distributions to find one that works, but so far this one is working right off the bat. So this might be the one we'll stick with, but let's just mess around with it a little bit running off of the DVD 
then we'll decide if we want to install it or not. So let's just hop into the settings. Oh, okay, so it stays in this, it stays in this little menu here, similar to Windows 7, which I guess is nice. I did not mean to click that. Okay, let's try something like um, spreadsheet document in LibreOffice. And you can see the time is kind of cut off here and there's a black bar over on this side. So can I fix this? Let's do an auto adjust. It did not fix it. Now there's a black bar over on this side cutting it off. That's weird. But the black bar is gone over there. I don't know if that'd be something with the graphics card. Now it's still trying to open up this spreadsheet. But the DVD drive is being accessed, so I'm pretty sure that's the bottleneck right now. So I don't think Zorn OS will be for this computer. It constantly froze up whenever I did anything and it just wasn't a great experience. So now I'm trying a different Linux distribution called Annex Linux. And uh, this is kind of the go-to for old computers. It supposedly runs really good. It's kind of good for uh, netbooks and stuff. So let's just see how that runs on here. And we have our uh, little boot screen here. Let's just go to Annex 23. This is the full version. And I think this will run a lot better just because it's so much more lightweight than Zorn OS. This computer might just be a little too old for Zorn OS, or maybe if I at least had a way to boot from USB, maybe it would be all right, but I just don't think it will work that well on here. So let's just give this a try and see how it goes. So it says that the username and password by default are demo on the website. But when I type that in, it just brings me back here. So I don't know what to do about this. Now I'm trying one called Lubuntu. So let's give this one a try. Okay, and this one actually booted up. So let's, uh, I don't wanna do too much. I think we should go ahead and just install it. Now this is, Ubuntu 18, and I think it's ending support, or maybe the, the support has already ended. But it's still pretty recent, and you can do pretty much anything with it, really. But I can see there's still that weird problem with the line going down here, and I, that is not a problem on Windows 7. So I don't know what's going on there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and install this. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but I think once it's installed to the hard drive is going to be a big improvement versus what we're doing now. So I'll catch you once it's already installed because this is going to be quite the long process, I have a feeling. Okay, so I've been messing around with this thing throughout the weekend, trying different distributions, including the ones that you've already seen. And uh, I could not get Linux to install on this. They kept on giving me some sort of error. I even tried Linux Mint with little luck. And I tried different DVDs. I even tried an old version of Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu 10 it was. And that just didn't work. So, I don't know. There's probably some sort of limitation on this computer that just won't allow Linux to install. I'm sure there's some workaround you can get to get it to work, but... I just don't think I'm going to mess with this anymore. I don't want to waste any more DVDs or anything. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for this thing in terms of Linux. So a version of Windows is definitely going back on here. I think I might make a community poll asking what you guys think, what version should go on here. And yeah, that's about where I'm going to leave off at. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas or anything, I would appreciate you guys to let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.